My name is Adi Mattel. I'm a fourth year medical student at the University of Pittsburgh and I'm a COO and co-founder of Astro Biosciences. Astro Biosciences is a spin-out startup company out of the University of Pittsburgh and simply put we're just trying to develop a blood test for cerebral aneurysms or brain aneurysms. Brain aneurysm is kind of like a ballooning out in the blood vessel and if this balloon pops, you get a catastrophic brain bleed called a subarachnoid hemorrhage. Once these aneurysms pop or rupture, uh, your outcomes look really bad. 50% of patients will just die before they even get to the hospital, and one third continue to live with severe disabilities. I, I was always really frustrated in class. I was interested in learning things, but I always felt that things could be done differently or could be done better, and I didn't find opportunities to explore those interests until I started research. And through research, I was very lucky to find um, excellent mentors, Dr. Robert Freelander and Camille Nowicki, who was a resident at the time. And they really fostered my interest in medical innovation and in entrepreneurship, and to really bring this blood test um, from the bench to the bedside. We heard about something called the Big Idea Competition and then the Wells um, Entrepreneurship Competition. We competed in both of those competitions and learned a lot about not just the science, but developing a business plan, a business model, regulatory concerns, and then reimbursement concerns for insurance, which something as clinicians you, you don't even really think about. In terms of important milestones that we've achieved, we're very lucky to have um, achieved SBIR funding um, from the NSF, and I'm very lucky to be PI on this grant. Um, regarding our patents, we've filed two patents through the university um, and just submitted a third provisional patent. My mindset shifted from like this research mindset to innovation, talking to Camille, uh, my one of my closest mentors, and he kind of said like, hey, Patty, like everyone in research thinks that the end goal is to publish in a high impact journal. And that rarely happens. And he said the real end of research is to actually bring this technology to the patients and to bring it as far as you can. So that mindset shift from my duty as a researcher, not just being able to publish, but being able to really bring this technology to life, um, is what spurred my interest in innovation and entrepreneurship.